I wanted to show you some ASL grammar just to get a sense of how it's different than um, English grammar. Um, let's think of a sentence. So if I were to say, um, um, mother gave father the book. Um, in ASL, what I would do is I would start with the sign for mother, and then I would show you where she is in space. I'm going to put her somewhere. So mom is going to go right there. And then I'm going to talk about dad, and he's going to go over here. Okay, so now I've set up mom and dad. Okay, then uh, we were talking about a book. So here's the sign for book. And then I can um, move my hand from mother, where I put mother, to the place where I put father. And so what you get is, and that's mother gave father the book. What you may notice is that the way you do an indirect object in ASL um, can be spatial. So I actually move the, the um, the object, the book, um, from uh, the subject of the sentence to the person uh, receiving the book. Um, spoken English doesn't do that. Spoken English uses word order. So we say, mother gave father the book. And if I change the word order, father gave mother the book. Um, just by changing the word order, we change who's doing the action and who's receiving the book.